the birth control of the future is almost here. Well, we have like four-ish years, but that's basically here. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. Big news! MIT is developing a nifty new wireless remote control contraceptive method. Such technology! This device implants in your arm, tummy, or your butt but cheeks to be more specific. So we already have another implantation method. It's called Implanon. They basically put like a little toothpick looking thing under your skin and it can be left there for three years. This new method is a little microchip scaling in at 20 by 20 by seven centimeters and it contains levonorgestrel, the same hormone in many of the newer forms of birth control. The hormone is contained in an airtight seal of platinum and titanium and it's released when a tiny electrical current from the internal battery temporarily melts the chip seal, allowing the hormones to be absorbed by the body. The scientists said the trickiest part was figuring out how to use a thin membrane like an electric fuse. The best and worst part about this new method is that it can be switched on and off with a remote control. Best because you can use it and then if you're like, hey, I want a baby, you can turn it off and back on again when you're done having said baby. It's also the worst part because I can barely keep track of my TV remote, so how on earth am I going to keep track of a birth control remote that I only touch like once? ever. I'd probably keep it in some kind of glass frame on the wall just in case my friends don't think I'm weird enough yet. Other benefits, this thing lasts 16 freaking years, which is half of a woman's fertile years. In theory, you'd only need to get two of these in your life and you'd be set. Doctors will also be able to remotely administer higher or lower doses of the hormone, which defeats one of the drawbacks of the other contraceptive implant. For Implanon, once it's in, it's in. There's no changing doses while it's still in there. So this is some pretty amazing stuff. It's so good to live in the future. The MIT researchers are still working out some blips, like how to keep the wireless data with your health stats, private and so forth. Preclinical testing is set to begin in 2015 and they think the chip may have broader implications for administering other daily drugs too. So would you use the microchip birth control? Tell me about it down below. And if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to subscribe to TestTube, a new sister show to DNews. It covers world events and other trending topics. I'll see you next time.